Listen, you guys, you want to be champions of the world? Well, well, us. well of, of course, course we do. do. Hey, look, have you kids ever heard of Fizzo? No. Have you, Harry? I can't say I recall the name, but you know, I have a terrible memory for people's names. Well, look, it's the biggest soft drink in South America. Everybody drinks it. Well, we never drank it. But, Harry, we're not from South America. I suppose you do have a point there, Petal. Well, look, the president of Fizzle, Don Pedro, has contacted me to get a couple of top-notch American fighters who can beat their champions. And I think that you kids can do it. Do you really think so? Oh, you bet I do. And I'll take care of everything. The training, the food, the travel. Everything will be first class. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? It sounds great. Don't you think so, Harry? Yes, it does. If only our mum could see us now finally getting a shot at the big time. That's right. Now let's have a drink on that, huh? Fizzo, the greatest. Wait a minute. Let me help you out here. One, eight, two. How about you? Um, I can't drink that stuff because I have to take my medicine. So it's looking at you kids. <laughs> we like your deal very much, Tony, but we've got to make a few things clear. That's right, Harry, you tell him. Well, for starters, we're not going to do any advertising for this here fizzle muck. It's disgusting. Right, we shan't think it no neither. Problem. You won't have to do anything. But the main thing is, kids, I have to take a picture for the album. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> now, smile for the birdie. Very good. Beauty, uh, it's you. a beauty. Uh, also, we refuse to ever fight each other. That's the promise you made our dear departed mum on her deathbed. May she rest in peace. God rest her soul. OK, here's the main point. You won't have to fight your mother. You won't have to fight each other. You won't have to drink fizzo. But the main thing is, kids, you have to sign this contract. Uh, well, there is one more thing, Tony. Uh, we've got to take Rexy with us, cos he's been with us since he was a puppy. That's right, and he goes, we goes. Come here, little Rexy. Come on, give Danny a kiss. Oh, what a nice chinchilla. I mean, chihuahua. <laughs> hey, look, Rex, you and me got to become friends. Yeah. yeah. Be nice to the nice gentleman. He's going to make us famous. He's going to make us into world champions. You've got to be nice. That's right. Now, hand over, Rex. Come on, hand him over. Let Rexy come over to Uncle Tony. Because, you see, you can't have Rexy on the plane because of quarantine. I'll make sure he gets it. The main thing is, that you kids sign on the dotted line. I love you, I <laughs> love you, little Jack. Yeah, yeah. Hey, kids, how you doing? Look, it's only another 10 miles, and then your work will be done. Look, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything will be set, OK? Oh, but what about Rexy? OK, Tony. I suppose, suppose you know what's best. You know, that Tony, he's all right. I know. I can't wait to see our little Rexy. <laughs> Take it easy. You got some serious training to do. Besides, you don't want to have sex before the biggest part of your lives, do you? Of course not. Let me show you to your quarters. Come on. Where's Rex, Tony? Where is he? Don't worry. He'll be here tomorrow. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Now, Maria and Rosa is going to take care of you boys. Everything you need. <laughs> Did you stop? 
Now, unfortunately, I would stay with you, but my doctor says I'm allergic to chicken feathers, so I have to go. So this is where you'll be living, you know. Make sure you keep the house clean, okay? Charlie, why can't we stay in the house like normal people? Oh, you ain't normal people. You are absolutely not normal. There's something very special. And I'm training you to become the champions of the world. That's why I put you in this little coop over here, so that you'll learn how to breathe in difficult times, you understand? And another thing is, too, I want you to listen to these noises so you'll concentrate on your work. Did you boys know that this is exactly the way Rocky Marciano trained for the big fights, huh? Who's Rocky Marciano? You know, he's that one who's very aggressive garbo. Oh, yes, I remember. And do you know what Mr. Marciano used to eat every day, huh? Chicken and eggs, chicken and eggs, chicken and eggs three times a day. And do you know what he used as a punching bag? Dead chickens all hung up in a row. But do you know what he really used to toughen himself up before the biggies, huh? He used to clean that coop house spotless. So please, boys, let's go to work. Okay, Tony. I was supposed to go first. Te pesqué, gallinita. Mira para que te atragante. ¿Te pasa algo malo, gordito? ¿Mm? ¿Mm? No me creyeron que se nos iban a escapar. Les Hoy... va a gustar mucho el esquipe, va a caber. Les va a encantar. Vente, vente. Vámonos. Perro. Me encanta, yo. Carlos, 